Hey guys, I'm the Lockpicking Patrolman, and today I'm going to be doing a uh, review and picking of this Danu uh, clear acrylic practice lock and lockpick set that I ordered from Banggood.com. First of all, however, I would like to thank each and every one of you that uh, commented and sent well wishes and liked, etc., on my 100 subscribers video. That is really, really encouraging and and I just really like the feedback and I believe I'm going to be setting aside a little more time every week to try to make some picking videos. So thank you guys again uh, for all of your support. Just in the couple days since that video, I've already surpassed 120 subscribers. So anyway, I ordered this set during Banggood.com's Black Friday uh, after Thanksgiving sale. And just a helpful hint, whenever ordering from Banggood.com, go ahead and spend the extra pocket change on getting the priority airmail or at least the lowest level of shipping that you will receive a tracking number with. Um, not so much that it will get to you more quickly if you live in the U.S., but that if there is some sort of error with the postal service that you will be able to find it. Personally, I fat-fingered the zip code on my shipping address. However, I was able to find it with just a little visit to my post office. First off, let's look at the padlock itself because this is what I really bought this set for. Uh, just to help explain to people who are either curious about locks or curious about learning how to pick. Uh, it's a clear acrylic padlock. Uh, you can see there are no scratches on it yet. It does fog up if you hold it in your hand for a while. Um, however, it seems to function fairly well. It does come with two keys which are attached to the shackle by the key ring. The simplest way to remove the keys from the shackle is to insert a 50 thousandths pry bar in the top of the keyway, take a standard hook and go in pin by pin, one is loose, two is loose, three, just pop Tim up, four as well, five, just needs a little bit of a pop and you're open and you can remove these keys from the shackle now. Obviously not a uh, difficult pick at all. However, it is great for a beginner because it offers the satisfying thunk of having a spring-loaded shackle pop open when you finally pick the lock and turn the core. Um, I will probably be ordering uh, some more of those from uh, perhaps Amazon or some other supplier just so that they can arrive a little bit more quickly than the 20 days that I waited for this. Now, as for the picks, uh, you can see that we did get a key extractor, a number of different rakes, including a snowman, a city or L rake, a triple peak, a half city rake with an incline on the end, a uh, variant of the worm, um, I'm not sure exactly what that is supposed to be, a double peak, and two diamond picks. Um, also we got three hooks, we got this sort of funky flag shaped hook, which I'm thinking may have some sort of use uh, in the future if I do a little bit of finishing work to it. And I'll go over some finishing here in a second. Um, also, these two regular medium hooks came with it. And the one on the bottom, I spent about four minutes with, well, not even four minutes, four minutes digging out pieces of sandpaper and finishing, uh, taking off the rough edges around it. Uh, you can see the, the black coating uh, came off. It did smooth up fairly well, and I might do a little more touch-up on the tip of the pick. However, uh, both of these are about the same. 
The one that I finished seems to have a little bit of a wider tip than the one that I've left unfinished, uh, but generally, generally they're identical. Um, all of these picks measure uh, about 25 thousandths. So we can see here, we'll take my handy dandy calipers that were given to me by Leon of Leon's Lockpad. Um, and actually we can see that these are thicker than 25 thousandths. They're actually about 29 thousandths of an inch. Or because I can't do the conversion in my head, 0.73 millimeters. A um, little bit of sanding won't hurt these. Uh, what does detract from the uh, picks is that a number of them came where they were bent in the handle. Um, the tang was bent or the little uh, metal handles that are riveted on there uh, were also bent. You can see it uh, in these two examples and even see through this example if I can get the camera to focus uh, maybe but yes there's quite the quite the gap in there that you can squeeze back together um, if you're a beginner picker don't buy these picks buy a Southward uh, PXS 14 the Sparrows Tuxedo the Sparrows Kickstart or another decent size uh, decent priced uh, beginner's pick kit from one of these manufacturers. Now, the one thing that I am actually really excited about are the tensioners that came with this kit. Uh, both of these tensioners measure uh, about 45 thousandths of an inch, and that is thicker than anything that I currently have. Uh, this is my um, thickest tensioner from my PXS14 kit. And if I hold it up to the camera close enough, you can see uh, the Banggood one is on the left and the Southward is on the right. So I am thrilled to have some thicker tensioners. Uh, one does come in this uh, Z-bar style, the other in the uh, twisted L-shaped style. Also, we get a shutter uh, tensioner, which I've been wanting to play with one of these for a while. Uh, it will also need some finishing around the edges, but otherwise, yeah, be interesting. Oh, and they threw in this case. So, uh, long story short, if you're a beginner picker, buy one of these. If you're looking to buy a clear, past, uh, clear plastic padlock to practice with, um, maybe not with all the picks included, but one of these will help you visualize the pins. If you're an intermediate picker, or you're really good with um, transforming um, transforming materials into other useful materials, these picks might be interesting uh, to work on. I plan on working on the triple peak because I do not have one of these rakes, so I'm going to spend a little extra time polishing this up. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, so that's my experience. And um, I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, whichever side it's on. And also remember, never write with a broken pencil because it's pointless. Have a great day, guys.